Hello and welcome to the TES Secondary Maths Resource of the Week number 117 with me Craig Barton. Now as you know on this current series of resources of the week every fourth resource is a premium resource. That's a resource that has been created by a teacher and uploaded to the TES marketplace and it is for sale. And I always snap these up with my hard earned cash and review them honestly and objectively. So this resource cost me £10. Now if you speak to my wife you'll know that that was flipping hard for me to, to part with £10 of me, me hard earned money. But I can honestly say I'm very happy with my purchase. This is the key stage three mathematics test maker that has been created by Rum DMC and it is flipping impressive let me tell you that. So I'm going to take you through what, what the resource involves. Now you'll know those of you who've been listening to me over the last five years or so will know, will know I'm a sucker for anything involving Excel because I love the fact that with Excel you can generate random questions. Um, so you, the resource essentially is is infinite in its in its potential. And also sometimes you can also, if it's a well designed Excel resource, generate the answers as well, which means you're absolutely laughing. Well, imagine my delight when these two things have been put together. So we've got here randomly generated questions, answers provided, all bundled into this really slick test maker, which is designed for key stage three, but could quite easily be used with key stage two or key stage four as well. So let me take you through it. Um, it consists of three files which you download. There's an instruction file and a Word document and then the key, two main key Excel files. So your instruction file is really clearly laid out because we all know Excel can be a little bit fiddly when you've got to enable macros and all that kind of stuff. But this is really simple. It's not pages and pages. It's simply six key points which, I mean, I'm not the brightest when it comes to Excel, but even I managed to follow this through and, and build myself a test. And in fact, I'm going to try, try it live now and just to ch show you how easy it can be. So there are your instructions. And basically, you have to open yourself to uh, two Excel files, a test template file, uh, which is where you're actually going to create your test, and then the question bank. And the question bank is rammed full of really, really impressive questions. You'll see at the bottom here, you've got your tabs, number, algebra, shape, spatial measure, and data handling. So the idea is you, you flick through this until you spot a question that, that catches your eye. So what I like the look of was this one number 37 estimation my students struggle with that sometimes whenever they're doing their long multiplication they get a daft answer and because they haven't estimated it first they just bang that answer down so if you see a question that you like you just click on it and it automatically selects it you then go for a bit of copy and then you ha hover over here to your template you click there and then you've nicely got this paste contents this little brush click that and your questions appeared and look nicely I mean even that impresses me no longer is it question 37 it's now question one superb right well I want more for me test now so I'm gonna go back to my question bank and I'm gonna go for some shape space and measure questions so here loads of stuff and and again I like this as well because it's not just not just numbers and stuff there are there are diagrams involved so maybe for example I like the look of this one draw an accurate net of this uh, oh no actually you know what's what's grabbed me here yeah what about that one bit of isometric drawing let's go for that so if I click on that again it selects the whole thing let's go for a copy let's go back to my uh, test template let's click down here let's click paste content and so on now what's nice about this you'll notice is the total marks keeps increasing as it goes now don't worry about that page one that's just a watermark that'll come out with printing we'll just build one more because I'm, I'm having a good time here just talk amongst yourselves uh, if I go to data handling this time and notice we've got graphs this time involved uh, and we've got tree diagrams let's go for a nice tree diagram one so we'll give that a click bit of a click there and my test template is now nicely over here so let's click there and let's go for paste contents and that's arrived there as well now if it goes over two pages as per the instructions you can click on this and just insert rows to move things down enter the number of rows required and you know you can play around with it until it moves it down and so on until you get it below the page okay so superb stuff but now let's go to a couple of my favorite features so imagine you've built your test you've got it looking exactly how you like it and um, the first thing is that you can print that test out but then you can print out a set of answers so if you click here and you click that bit and go to answers shown it'll automatically work you out the answers for all this as well which is absolutely ideal for when it comes to marking but then you might think well wait a minute I want to change this question slightly um, I'm not entirely happy with this question so if you just select a question you don't have to do this for all of them just select it and if you click recalculate cells 
then it will automatically change the numbers for you until you get the question that you want. And you can change them on the whole test, but you might just want to change an individual question. And that's really handy because say you've got a kid who's messed up on their test, you can automatically generate them a retest just by changing the values. So absolutely superb stuff. And when you print it out, it looks beautiful. As I say, use that page break technique and that insert rows just to move your questions down, getting them looking exactly as you like. So there it is, it's a key stage three test maker. Now it won't be for everybody, some of you will uh, prefer to use test base and all that kind of stuff, but, uh, and this isn't me being a dodgy salesman, I promise there's nothing in it for me here, but if you compare the price of those kind of things to £10 for this, then it's, it could well be worth investing in as a department. And the other thing, of course, is as well, you don't have to use this to print out and create tests. Um, what I've done with my uh, Year 7 class is I've just built a quick test on, on Excel here. It takes about 30 seconds, and then just projected that up at the front of the class. And then we've got a quick test that kids can do just in their books, and I can generate the answers, or I can use it for extension work or just to generate questions to use for examples and so on. So lots of flexibility, you don't just have to use this in its printed form. So there it is, the Key Stage 3 Mathematics Test Maker. I hope you found that useful um, and as I say, if you, if you have purchased it and used it, feel free to use it uh, to leave a review on the page just to let us know how you got on with it and how you, um, how you used it with your students. And I shall return with a free TES Resource of the Week next week. Take care and bye for now.